that's a bullseye. That's a 25. That's a bullseye. Oh wait, this is an American dart brand. That was a double bull, single bull, double bull. The Colonial Darts Review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. So we have an interesting video for you today, but before we jump into the review on these darts, I want you to feast your eyes over here. Now what you're looking at there, probably some of the most basic darts you've ever seen in your life. Those are the Laser Dart Silver Widows. Now, shockingly enough, the price you're seeing there, that's not a misprint. 152 US dollars on sale for 114 US dollars, what? I mean, like I said, the most basic darts you've ever seen in your life, they're practically a smooth barrel dart. Count them, there's four, four machined rings cut into that barrel, 114 US dollars. It just oh, it almost gives me an aneurysm talking about it. Now, to be honest with you guys, I could go on and on here probably for the next half hour talking about what a horrible company that is and the darts themselves, in my opinion, the biggest ripoff in all of darts ever. However, I've made a bunch of videos on the subject, so I'm just not even gonna talk about them anymore. So we're just gonna let that be. What we're here to do is to tell you, sticking with the main theme of this channel, great darts don't have to cost a lot of money. So forget about those things. What I'm here to show you today are the Colonial Darts from AZ Darts, and check that out. 28 US dollars for practically an identical set to that other set that I just showed you that I'm not even gonna talk about anymore. So yeah, $28 on sale for these things. And I think that's a great deal. And these are actually a really nice set of darts. And if you, this is your first time hearing about Colonial, these are actually made in New Zealand. And I'm not 100% sure about this, but I believe Shot Darts makes all of the Colonial line. So basically Colonial is a store brand for AZ Darts. And as you see there, they do offer some great prices. So I'm really excited to review these things. I think they're really nice. And uh, the price is something that fits perfectly with the theme of this channel. So what do you say we grab the other camera? We'll uh, take a close up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions. Oh, they do come as barrels only, by the way. So I added these. But yeah, we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Then after that, I'll get them to the board. I'll throw them for a few turns and I'll let you know what I think about these colonial darts. And I can tell you right now, I already like them, already love the price. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good review. So, here we go. Okay, there we go with the Colonial Darts. And like I said, they come as barrels only. So for at least the next few clips, we'll be rocking these Pentathlon standard size flights. And I threw on some medium length carbon stems. But there's the barrels. And if you see there, I mean, come on. That's almost an identical match to the other darts that shall not be named anymore. And hey, funny enough, you wanna look at it this way. If you notice here, there are five machined rings on these darts. So if you break down the price per machined ring, these cost $28, so five machined rings. That's a cost of $5.60 per ring. Now the other darts at a cost of $114 with four machined rings, that would be $28 in 50 cents per machined ring. Anyway, I thought that was kind of funny, but uh, yeah, as you see there, super nice. And I wanna state this again, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure these are made by shot. I mean, these darts are made in New Zealand. I mean, who else makes darts in New Zealand? So I'm gonna go ahead and say shot makes these. So the quality that you would expect from them is what you'll get with Colonial. Well, anyway, what do you say we get a little bit closer? Look, go over some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go, a little bit closer look there. So running down some stats and dimensions. This is actually an 80% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 44.5 millimeters long. And the barrel width right at the widest point, right on this ring on the front end, 6.8 millimeters wide. Now this barrel tapers down all the way to the back end of this final ring before the stem to 6.1 millimeters wide in the back. So it's actually pretty thin dart if you're a rear gripper. Now these were advertised as 21 grams. The lightest barrel came in at 21.11. The next barrel, 21.13. 
in the last barrel, 21.14. So only three one hundredths of a gram off. That is excellent match weighting there. So well done to Colonial. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look? Although it's a pretty basic barrel, not much to look at, but we'll take a close look anyway. Okay, I think that's a close enough look. We already have a pretty good idea what these barrels look like, but let me show you this Colonial logo real quick. I like the nice, clear, bold lettering, and it's a really good size logo as well. So yeah, I like that. The barrels themselves, I mean, you know, nothing but a smooth barrel dart with, which I've already said a million times, five machined cutouts, two in the front, three in the back. I love the tapered design on here. So not too, actually, it's not even too thick in the front, 6.8 millimeters wide. It tapers to the back really thin. I'm a rear gripper, so where I'm gripping these darts, probably right around 6.2, 6.1 millimeters wide. So yeah, these gonna play a lot thinner than you would think, but you know what? As much as I love smooth barrel darts, check out this feature. Take a guess right now how far those points stick out of the barrel. Believe it or not, these stick out of the barrel 31 millimeters long. So yeah, that's right, these come stock with a 36 millimeter long black point. I think that's awesome because look at all the other darts out there, even the high-end expensive ones, usually we get stuck with those crappy 26 millimeter silver points that never stick in the board too well. So yeah, really nice to see some longer points on darts. I wish more companies did that. But let's talk about the grip. You guys know, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of you that play with a smooth barrel dart. For the first few throws, Kind of slippery. I'd go ahead and give them a level one grip on a scale of one to five. However, once they warm to your fingertips, I would go ahead and say probably a level three grip, but in that smooth barrel sort of way. You guys know what I mean. If you play with a smooth barrel dart, you know what I mean. So yeah, level three grip, they actually stick really well to your fingertips. But what do you say we get these things on the board and I will not be using this setup. I'm gonna throw on my L-style stems and flights and let's go see how good these things fly. Here we go. Alrighty, let's have a few throws with the Colonial Darts. As you see there, we've got my L-Style Bullet Flights, Harrow's Super Grip Carbon Stems, intermediate length by the way. And the only thing I did change, if you have a look there, I did add the Trident 180 nose cones. These barrels had a little bit of a lip where the point meets the barrel. So the Trident 180 nose cones eliminates that lip and your flights will last you like 20 times as long or longer and you'll experience less wild deflections. So awesome invention. In my opinion, probably one of the top three inventions in the past 20 years. Number one invention, blade wire dartboards with the massive healthy segments like you see here. Love those things. But yeah, spe uh, specialty points or the Trident 180 nose cones. Awesome invention, highly recommend them. So yeah, I've been warming up here for about five minutes. The barrels warmed, ah, the barrels warmed to my fingertips and uh, they're throwing really really well so now that the camera's on let's see what happens and i'll tell you what guys um and i can't say this strongly enough but just because a dart costs more money it will not make you a better dart player so just don't fall into that trap. If you enter or if you go into some American dart shops, they're gonna tend to push those expensive darts that you absolutely don't need. These $28 darts, every bit as good as the more expensive $114 darts that I showed you. So, I mean, just, like I said, I can't stress it enough. Don't fall into that trap where you think the better darts will make you a better dart player because it just is not gonna happen darts doesn't work like that but yeah these darts man the grip is really nice I mean I like smooth barrel darts anyway whoops slipped right off my thumb there we go Whew! saved it on the third I'm really liking these points too because Obviously, when you're playing with a longer point, the barrel's going to be further away from the dartboard. So when you do hit a triple or a treble, whatever you want to call it, um, it's going to be visually appealing. There's going to be more room in that treble for you to add more darts to it. So, yeah, longer points. And I think that's the general trend from a lot of players going towards longer points. Mm, that 
Those things are flying nice. Wow. All right, we'll go one more here. But as far as recommending these darts, 10-10 all day long. If you've ever considered, for whatever reason, maybe purchasing the more expensive ones there that I showed you in the beginning of the video, don't do it. Just get these ones instead, and uh, I promise you, you'll like them. I mean, they're pretty much virtually identical anyway. Well, there it is, guys. That was five turns, five pretty decent turns. I'm really liking these arts, and I'm actually pretty glad that I bought them. So, um, as always, though, we do have one more clip for you. You know what's coming. Long point, smooth barrels. Got to do it. Here we go. A few moments later. Well, that's looking good. It's back. Boom. Second dart. First dart. Third dart. And I think because of those long points, that third dart kind of dove in there. So, uh, yeah, great way to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look at the Colonial Darts. I think the, uh, the no name, what was the name? 58022? I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, the link for AZ Darts and these darts will be down in the pinned comment. And remember, they come in 21 grams like I have here or 23 grams. They're on sale. I'm not sure how many they have in stock, so you better act quick. But all things aside, I would highly, highly recommend these things. Great dart if this is the barrel shape you're looking for. Spend $28 instead of that 114 US dollars. So anyway, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these things. Or let me know what you think of those other $114 darts. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see ya on the next video. Later.